Hello and welcome back to the Super Swiss. We are currently building up a couple of our holdings here and generally just letting our levies and taxes rise. But I kind of have this itch that I want to progress. I want to get something going. I want to try and improve our station. So what we're going to do? Well, we still want this one piece of land, Zurich, off of um, Swavia. Um, now, to get it, what do we need to do? Well, we need to be able to win a war. Uh, do we actually have a... Um, we do not have a Cassis Belly. Okay. So, step number one, we need a claim on Zurich. Step number two, we need to have enough troops to win the war. And then, step number three, we have to be able to finance it, basically. Finances are solved. Uh, the claim we can get, if I was to do this... Um, we might as well get it now. Is an unpressed claim inherited? No, so unpressed claims are not inherited. So we would have to declare a war if we were getting the claim so that it would pass down to Otto here. Okay, so that's something to remember. And then enough troops. Now, this is the bit that's a little bit problematic. So they have 2,323. So let's say 2.3 uh, plus an extra one. So that's 3.3. Plus 1.8, so we're looking at 5.1. And then 1.6, so we're looking at 6.7. So they have 6.7k troops that will join them in a war. Because that's them plus their allies. We have 1.2 plus 1.6, which puts us up at 2.8 plus 0.5. So we're at 3.3. So we have almost exactly half their strength. If we were just fighting them, no allies, I think we would, you know, be close to a victory. But because they have the allies, we're in a little bit of a problematic state. So, what's the plan? Well, I'm thinking that we might try and break their alliances. We did fail to kill Rudolf here, but... We have an opportunity to potentially break some of these marriages um, or some of these alliances through marriage by killing the people involved, which will then, in theory, solve all of our issues. So, let's have a look here. Um, Gebhard, I recognize that name. Uh, Anna uh, Babenberg, but I don't think it's the same Gebhard. Yeah, I don't think it's the same one, although it's a similar name and the same dynasty. So I was like, oh, okay. So I was thinking uh, it was this one over here. Yeah, Gephard right here. It was um, betrothed to my daughter. I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of similar. Anyway, uh, moving on from that random aside. So there's a marriage between Gebhard and uh, Gebhard and Agnes here, um, which is bringing in Nordgau, which has 1.8 thousand troops. Okay, so if we could break that, that would be great. Um, so his daughter... Agnes, I'm assuming. Yes. So if we kill Agnes, we break that alliance. Seems good to me. 19% chance of killing her. Let's have a look. So, in here, uh, we got anybody who's willing to join. So you would give me 9. That's not really enough. You would give me 5. Yeah, so neither of those are enough. If we were willing to give away gifts, we could potentially get Gebhard in here. He's very close. In fact, if we give away a gift, I'm fairly certain we can get Mayor Rudolph in here. How much does he want for a bribe? A hundred. Okay, so he wants a hundred. How much is a gift for him? A hundred. So we need two hundred to get him in, but we could potentially do that. Uh, okay, so let's start with this. You're supporting my scheme, which is actually very uh, worrying, given that <laughs> it's still so low. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how things go. We can always just delay actually firing the um, like the assassination attempts. My Marshal Arnold has been showing off a promising new recruit. Uh, okay, this guy, Von Baden. Um, yeah, he seems good to me. We'll have him. Right, carrying on. Hey, some prowess increasing. Uh, my Councillor Werner died. Okay, so we need a new Chancellor. You're now the powerful vassal. Uh, so that is 14 stewardship. You don't like me because you're not in the council and I'm a murderer. All that sort of stuff. Uh, you could potentially be a marshal. You could be a diplomat, I suppose. Yeah. I guess so. 
let me just work this out. So I'm going to put you in as my... Yes, I'm going to put you in as my Chancellor. I'm then going to set my Steward into this position. So he's got 12. There we go. We'll reassign him. Then you are going to take that position. Now, do we have another Chancellor who's better? We do. And you're not a powerful vassal and you don't like me anyway. So let's stick you in here. There is actually a bit of logic for stick, stick your son in here because he'll get events uh, that might affect him. And I think he gets an income as well from it. Maybe we, maybe we should. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to go with somebody who's worse. But it gives us um, a, a vassal on our council who likes us. And he should get things from being on our council. Which sounds good to me. Right. Carrying on. Greetings, my liege. I've come to discover the most appalling truth about Count Rudolf. Who? Rudolf of Bern. Ah, my nephew. The person who owns this land here. Though I loathe bringing this matter to your attention, I must inform you that this man is keeping secrets of the most alarming kind from you. So you will reveal my secret, or the secret, or I can say you should forget all about it. Yeah, tell me a secret. He's a witch. He's a witch. Okay. Well, that's not great. Um, so we could blackmail him because of this. Is not a valid reason to imprison him, but if I revealed it, it would be. Hmm. Uh, I was gonna. Th I was thinking if I want this land for myself, what I could potentially do is I could fabricate on it, which would then give me a claim on it. I could imprison him. Once he's imprisoned, I could revoke his title if I move my crown authority up. I think that's the way you need to do, go about this. Yes, I think I think that's the way way to go about that without tyranny. Although, wait, if he revolts against us, that would also give us a reason to revoke his title. Yeah, actually, I think I'm just going to try and imprison him. I think that's enough. Can I expose it? Yes. So I'm going to expose that he's a witch. So everybody now knows that he's a witch. Okay, so Kent Rudolph's a witch. That gives me a reason to lawfully imprison him. He would say no, which rises him up in rebellion. Nice. Okay, so he would then rebel. We would then defeat him. I raise my crown authority so that I can revoke a title. I revoke his title. That gives us three titles and increases our personal domain. Yes, I think this is the plan. So I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm also going to raise all of our troops immediately. Um, we did actually, yes, we did get those men-at-arms to make our sieges easier, so we can see how much of an effect that makes. Till death do us part, my dear Regin, uh, Reginland, I, I may not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion, did I take you for granted. There are so many things I left unsaid. Oh, so our wife is dead. Well, that's not ideal, I would say. Um, we can remarry though, actually, that, that's okay. I'm okay with that. You're running. Can we catch you? We can. Perfect. Do I want to lead the army? Think I do? Actually, it thinks we have less chance if I lead the army. Defending in a river crossing. What about if I go with you, it thinks that we're good. Just because we have a better army commander, I guess. Okay. I think we're fine. Yeah, let, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Desertion. Ah, so these are the levies that left because he um, rose up against me and those were the levies I got from him. That makes sense. Empty council position of a marshal because he was holding it. Uh, I'm going to put you in as my marshal again. Wonderful. Uh, nothing else to do here. I could call allies to the war, but I don't think I need to. Right, and then we'll march our troops over here. He has no alliances, so this should be fairly easy. Speed 4. Uh, betrothed can marry. Aha, yes, we will 100% send that across. That secures our alliance. Um, he still hates me. Like, he hates my guts, but it secures an alliance, which is good. Right, we are winning this battle. We have won the battle and captured some enemy combatants. So this is my nephew. Uh, we are going to um, recruit him. Yep. That's fine. 
Uh, did we capture anyone else? Carlman. We will also recruit you. That's all fine. We could have made my nephew revoke his or um, renounce his claims, but I'm not really that bothered if he has a claim on this land. And now we just siege. It's going to take five months, which I think is about um, half of what it took when we were trying to siege in Austria. And uh, then we get this event. Duchess Ida, Duke Gebhard's wife, is firmly in my grip. However, with the right strategy, I might raise my upper hand even further. Perhaps Ida could be used to extend my influence over the Duke. Oh, of course, because she stays... Never mind. I was going to think that she stayed in my court, but she doesn't. Um, I, oh, it must just be opinion that does this. Okay, never mind. Misunderstood. Perhaps Ida could be used to extend my influence. So I can send her as a personal spy. I can reveal one of his secrets to me. And I lose my house head hook. Oh, it's because we have the house head hook. Yes, because we have a hook on everybody who's a member of our house. You're the key to a beautiful trap, Ida. Uh, they obviously haven't had children yet, so I don't want to kill them just yet. Yes, definitely do not want to kill him. Make it clear how easily I can reach him. Or spread a few rumors about how terrifying I am. Let's reveal a secret. Duchess Ida has failed to find any incriminating evidence. Despite that, the fool insists that for her efforts, her debt to me is paid in full. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Okay. How's this going? 53 uh, days left. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you. Um... Because I have no chance of killing you. Hey! We just got uh, 20 gold. We've finished our siege. And we finished pastures as well. Uh, perk. We can take hostile scheme success chance plus 25%. Which means this is now has a base of uh, 42%. Which is a lot better I'd say. Uh, let's enforce our demands. So we imprison him. Which is great. So now we've done that, I can disband my troops. I should be able to revoke his title if I raise my crown authority. So I raise that up. We will look at our prisoner here, Rudolf. I'm now going to revoke your title, which I can do because he's a known criminal. He revolted against me. I concede the reason. Um, he gets a press claim, loses opinion, and that's all fine. So Rudolf von Lenzburg. Oh, wait, this is an act of tyranny? Did that say it was going to be an act of tyranny? I don't think it did. Okay, well, it's an act of tyranny. As it causes my subjects to lose 20 opinion. I don't have any... Like, I don't have a ton of subjects. Yeah, so it causes this person to lose 20 opinion of me? No, it doesn't even cause her to lose opinion of me. So, what about you? No, you don't care. You don't care. Okay, so it might say it was an act of tyranny... But either nobody cares or, um, like, it wasn't, which is what I thought it was. Like, I didn't think it was a act of tyranny. Now, I can't execute this guy because he's my nephew and I would get a uh, Kinslayer trait, I think. Yeah, I'd get Familial Kinslayer, which is kind of bad. Uh, so what am I going to do with him? Uh, I could torture him. There's not really any particular benefit to that. Move him to the dungeon. I'm going to go... What about ransom? You pay me a hundred gold? Oh yeah, I'll let you ransom yourself off somewhere. Yeah, no problem. I'll take your I'll take your money. And now we have low county control in Bern, which we can fix by getting you. Oh, I need to wait a second. There we are. I, I can get him to do it. Dynasty head changed. You are the new dynasty head. Oh, okay. Hey, and uh, Svavia uh, just broke in half. What happened? How did you get this land? Title history. You inherited it. So Corinthia died. You inherited. But that doesn't explain because you held the land previously. Yeah, so how did you lose that land? Yeah, how did the person you inherited it from get it? Inherited, inherited, inherited. Doesn't make any sense. How did... So what happened here? Yeah, wait. What, what happened here? You were bordering me, you had the land, and then you just lost it. I mean, obviously, this this dude died. That was what kicked it off. So, Corinthia died. This land got created, and then you lost some land? I'm still not entirely sure how that all happened, but, I mean, good for us? I guess? Okay. Neat. 
Uh, I'm going to move you on to increasing control and burn. Now, now we just have to beat this person, who has a lot less troops. I mean, it's, he still has some allies, but that's okay. 700 there is other allies, Corinthia. Yes, so we would ideally want you to die. Uh, I'm going to stop trying to kill this person. There's no reason to kill her anymore. Um, so how do we have an alliance? It's the negotiated alliance. Okay, so that means that you have to die. Uh, so I'm going to murder you. 95% chance of being able to murder him. Uh, as a base, because three agents joined. Okay, yeah, so you're going to be dead. Um, I'm not married. I still need to do that. We are now increasing control and burn, which is great. Still waiting for this guy to pay his ransom, which I'm sure he will do eventually. And we can figure out where he goes afterwards. Could try and uh, kill him once he leaves, but we don't want to be a familiar with Kinslayer, so whatever. So where did you go? Oh, you're you. Oh, you're just unlanded. You're just kind of hanging around. That's fine. I'm happy for you to just hang around. We now hold three holdings. Um, there is a bit of an argument for switching our capital to burn. The reason why we might want to do that is because we can now construct duchy buildings in it, and then we would get bonuses from the duchy building, and uh, would get capital bonuses stacking. So that's definitely an option for us. Um, the other one is it depends where we want our capital to be eventually. Um, I'm just seeing. I guess we would want this to be our capital in the end because it'll be the duchy that we hold, although we could also hold this duchy over here. Yeah. So, what? either Burn or um, Grissons here wants to be our... Like, either one of those would be our capital. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think Burn seems like a good capital. We don't want to switch right now because it's not as good, but we definitely want to switch once we get the control level up and a couple of buildings built. Okay. Cool. It's not urgent, though. Right, we need to marry. Now, we don't want any children, so actually, what I'm going to say is age difference of five years. Oh, yes. Actually, just doing that would work instead. So, we're looking for infertile. So, people who are not going to have children. That, that's our main goal. Followed up by alliance power. Let's see what we got. So, you got a claim on a whole bunch of things. I don't think we really want to... We're not really marrying you for your claim, so that's fine. You know, actually, scrap this. Uh, I'm going to go for some of all skills. We're going to marry somebody so that they make us better. Yeah, so let's try... Um, maybe marrying you? There's, well, I mean, it would make our marshal better. Is there anyone who's got better stats? You've kind of got okay stats across the board. You're delicate. That's fine. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Elizabeth. We're going to marry Elizabeth the Silly. That seems fine. She's got a ton of traits as well. Shrewd, comfort eater, delicate, poet, reveler, scholar. That's a whole bunch of things going on. Okay. Also, a very long uh, dynasty name that goes off the uh, the line. Yeah. Let's, let's marry her. Uh, that seems fine. Yes. Cool. Uh, and can unmark you because I don't care where you are anymore. Cool. There's that one through. So she should now be giving us benefits to all sorts of things. So she's now giving us three diplomacy, th uh, two martial, two stewardship, three intrigue, and two learning. So our stats are now looking better because of that. Wonderful. Right. Uh, how's this plot going? A couple months left on it. Um, I guess now that we're doing this, I should probably get myself a claim. We have some money to pay for it as well. So let's get ourselves a claim on Zurich. Speed 5, and let it roll. And now we just chill. There's nothing we need to act actively do. My kinsman has created a cadet branch. So, cadet branch right next to us. Okay. You're no longer an agent. Has that lowered my percentage chance? No. Nope. Okay, cool. Just one less person that can reveal that the plot's happening. A call to war. To the thoughtful Werner. I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Austrian claim on the Duchy of St of uh, Steiermark. Well, obviously, yeah, we're going to accept your claim, Gebhard. Yes. Or, yeah, we're going to accept your call. We were in this war to start with um, last time. Although, you do have 3,000 troops and 
I'm not entirely sure the numbers add up. Uh, Upper Burgundy? Yeah, I guess he's expecting his allies to all join and then they will carry the war. But yes, I'm going to accept. How many allies do you have? Oh, you are you have a couple of allies, but they have no troops. Okay, so it's more even than I thought, but still. It's a little odd. Uh, let's raise our troops and head to war. There we go. So raise them over here. Go speed four. And we're aiming to get over to Austria and then to try and merge up with their army. Okay. They were a bit slow in, you know, raising their troops there. Um, given that they declared the war, you would have thought they would be a little bit quicker. Oh well. Right, heading over. Hey, there's Upper Burgundy coming and joining in as well. Love to see it. There's his ally. Uh, I was just thinking, can we block him off? I don't think so. No, I'm going to head down to Austria. And just say, basically, my troops are yours. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in Duke Herman's bed after dark. Um, all they need is my go-ahead and he'll be as good as uh, dead the moment the spider strikes. Do it. He is dead by the lethal bites of a deadly spider. The spider uh, struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although the guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to me. So this dude is now dead. Why is that great for us? Well, it means that your alliance has now fallen apart, which is very, very good. You're in a war currently, uh, war, in, uh, war against the tyranny of Duke Berthold. Who's Duke Berthold? Oh, right, you're Duke Berthold. <laughs> you're in a, you're defending in the war against the tyranny, so it's your vassals rising up against you. Oh well, that's just uh, horrible. Uh, hopefully, it lasts for eight months, and then we can uh, come and help um, liberate your lands. Yes, yes, that sounds right. Liberate. Um, right, so head over here. Uh, I would like to step on top of their army. And then I'm going to attach myself. So they know that we're now attached. So now they're going to attack. No, now they're going to siege the capital. Okay. A donation in good faith. My bishop, Kaspar, has received a significant donation of gold from the estate of a wealthy but childless landholder, now deceased. He claims that the part had lived a very frugal and pious life and wished for the gold to go where it could do good. Bishop Kaspar insists that I receive part of the donation, as I am a paragon of Catholicism in Transjournia. A tempting offer indeed. Yes, a paragon of uh, Catholicism. Definitely not a murderer. Okay, um, let's see here. So you can get 20 gold. Um, I can get 50 gold and make him not like us, or you can take, give it to the poor. I will take my 20 gold. Thank you very much. Okay, so they've taken us and our uh, men-at-arms over to seize the capital. We have a claim on Zurich now. Wonderful. So you can go back to doing whatever you were doing beforehand. We've now taken their capital. Yeah, so they're, what they've done with our men is basically just gone, okay, we can siege more difficult things. Oh, you're now the dynasty head. Well, that's not okay. Um, we were dynasty head for a second or two. I didn't even realize that we'd managed to get that position. You going to go attack them? No, you're going to continue sieging. I guess because we have um, siege men at arms, we are in theory um, like making this easier for Austria to win in like a straight siege versus siege. Personally, I would attack their army at some point, but what do I know? Still trying to sway this person? Eh, he likes us already. I'm not going to do anything special. All right, and then we'll siege the last one and we win the war for... Yeah, we're going to win the war because we're going to siege everything first. What a way to win the war. Um, one of these. Let's take... Disrupt scheme effectiveness, because that's what we use when we're doing nothing else. And then... The war is over. Disband. Our ally is now incredibly strong. Not that we need him, necessarily. Yeah. You're, oh, you're now allied... Uh, so, Berthold is now allied to Berthold of... Svavia. Ah, because he's dead. Okay, so you're 800 troops, 600 troops, 1,400 troops overall. We're going to let our troops reinforce and then probably actually attack. I suspect that's where we're going to go with this. Let's wait for our troops to reinforce. We're now the dynasty head. It must be done by, like, military strength, I guess. I don't know. 
Because we're now stronger again. And we drop below them while we're in the war. Um, wonder why that's not going up. Eh, don't know. Uh, how many troops do you have? What, 657. You have 800. We have more troops. Austria would probably come in. They're probably happy. Yeah, contributed to one of my wars. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's go for a little war. What's the worst that could happen? Right, declare the war. We are then going to raise all of our armies. They're stuck over here, so nothing that can be done about this. Why do they have so many troops? Ah, oh, no, we're not hostile to that many troops. That is including the allies on the other side of this war. Yes. Uh, because, in theory, they could... Um, yeah, in theory, these allies uh, could attack us because... Like, although they're hostile to this per... Like, to these guys, they're not um, allied to... Like, they're not neutral to us. Yeah, we could try and siege the same thing, for instance. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to call in our ally. He would not say yes. Oh. He doesn't like me. Oh, I thought he would say yes. Okay, we have enough troops anyway, but that's fine. Head to Zurich. And then we'll just siege their capital and see how they feel about that. So, Svavia have joined. That's okay. We will siege this down. Five months left. They might come and attack us soon. My hook has expired on uh, this guy. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we can call in dynasty members if we wanted to. Not going to, but actually that's kind of an interesting thought because we're now the dynasty head. We can call, we have dynasty um, call to arms. Like we could call in this dude over here or Strasbourg or, you know, all sorts of random ones. Not all of them would say yes, but we could call them in. I'm not going to because I don't think we need them, but there you have it. Call to war. Austria calling me in for Count o Otakar's claim on the Duchy of Steiermark. Did we not just do this one? Yes, but now he has significantly more troops. I accept. We're being attacked. That's not ideal. Uh, we should win, I think. Although they're adding in more troops to this one. Okay, this is where we... Uh, Go, oh dear, I didn't notice we were being attacked. Let's hire some mercenaries. Back us up. So we're actually going to win the first fight just as this army arrives. We actually, we maybe didn't even need to hire the mercenaries, but hiring them definitely makes it um, a little bit more secure. We captured some enemy combatants, so I'm going to recruit them. Duchess Sophie, we're going to um, ransom. And I'm going to ransom you in a second. Sybil. Wait for that to go through. Ransom Sybil. Catholic Holy Order of the Knights Templar has been founded. Dynasty head changed again. Okay. Oh, what? She must have been uh, an heir. Oops. Oh well. Whatever. She was worth four score. But, to be fair, I actually prefer having the money. And we have some mercenaries that we've already hired for this war. So we might as well, you know, spend some time using them. Right. Uh, go to speed five. Are we maxed out on battle war score? No. So we can easily just do this to win the war. Yep. Do we defeat them again? Our hook on Aldebert has expired. Because he has also expired. He was slain by a uh, Carlman. Our liege is being attacked by Duchess Matilda of Tuscany in an independence war. Ooh, okay, with Tuscany and Lombardy in that war. There, it's quite a lot of land, actually. They, um, Yeah, they have a fair number of troops. They might not win, but it's going to put a dent in the Holy Roman Empire. And then we are going to enforce our demands. So we gain the contested title plus the lower titles. Wonderful. We're able to hold them because we have enough uh, domain limit. Uh, we can then uh, just check our prisoners for a second. We captured Captain Bavel. Uh, there's not really anything I want to do with them. We could just execute them for dread. Let's do it. Right, so we executed them to increase our dread number. 
Um, so we'll clear those out. Zurich probably has low control. Yep. So let's uh, raise control and... Oh, I need to wait a second. Let's raise control in Zurich. And then we can send our armies over to help Austria in a second. But we're going to do that after I end the episode and we start the next episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.